So I have this Manfrotto 492 ball head, and it's a great little ball head, but lately it's losing some of its friction. It seems there's a layer of real thick black stuff under there, and I'm wondering how on earth am I going to clean that? When you take out this little locking screw, it's got this little point. What that does is it kind of presses on this curved surface inside there, and as it presses, it forces this bottom plate up, and that forces against the ball and locks it. But at this point, where are you gonna go from here? What are you gonna do? I tried removing this little logo and I wrecked it. There's also a clear little, whoops, I just dropped it. There's a clear little piece of plastic on there. Pulled this out, there's nothing behind there. I'm thinking there's gotta be something behind this model tag. So I'm gonna do this very carefully. Try and get under there with a razor knife. And a small screwdriver, and again, this is uh, this is going to permanently. Oh, I found it. It's going to permanently wreck that label. But when you take off that little label, underneath there, there's a little Allen screw. Now you're going to need a two millimeter Allen wrench, and my guess is that that's what holds this whole thing from coming out. Let's move this razor blade away. And whenever you're doing stuff like this, I always wonder if there's screws or springs hiding behind stuff, but aha, indeed. Well, that's sort of it. There we go. Now kind of watch these as they come out. There we go, look at that. So you can see all that stuff in there and then this looks like it just slides in there, and that can go anywhere. That doesn't really matter. That's the little surface that this presses on. So now that we've got this access, ideally it'd be nice to get this plate off. I took pliers and I tried prying on here and I couldn't. I'm not sure how you would get that off, but this is enough access to get in there and clean it down with some, some type of a really good cleaner, a degreaser. And then you can get the bottom of it. We can obviously clean this cup. And then once it's all clean, put it back together and we should have really good grip again. First, I'll clean this ball out. I'm just using a lacquer thinner, so I have gloves on. Obviously, you wanna protect yourself. The other thing too is if you find that it's too slippy, we can always just add a little bit of grease afterwards. The problem right now is that it's not grabbing. There's no grip anywhere, so get this all cleaned out. Clean out inside of there. Take the little screwdriver and swish it all around in there. Well, let's give that a shot. When you line up this little ramp, this screw, it actually goes into the next slot over. And so these are like basically 90 degrees to each other. So when you line this one up, you'll automatically be lined up in that hole for the screw. So you just line it up there. The part inside is not actually tapped. It's actually this outer housing that has the threads in it. So when you put this in, it just goes in there. And all that does is it just stops it from coming loose. Originally, when I tried taking this apart before, I thought that they might be hiding something underneath these logos. I actually just took a screwdriver in here and it just cranked on it. So I'm glad I didn't break that screw. But let's see. Let's see how sticky it is now. Oh yeah, that is much better. Much, much better. Good idea, we'll try and just go ahead and stick this back on. Use some type of a glue if you wanted to. Just keep that covered up, that way we can make sure that screw won't fall out accidentally. That's how you fix these things. Get that stickiness back, get it grabbing, biting down a lot better. Oh yes. You know what, this has been bugging me for a couple months. And <laughs> this took all of what, 10 minutes? Back in business. Definitely has more bite. Much more secure, your camera's not going anywhere. That's how easy this is, guys. Hopefully this video helps you. Thank you for watching.